the Northrop Bruins. Welcome back to the Highlight Zone. Let's yeah! Well, at Northrop, basketball fans are giving thanks this time of year for the talent compiled by Coach Katie Jackson. A coach leading the Bruins to a 3-0 start as Northrop ranked 7th in the latest 4A state poll, one spot ahead of Homestead, and three spots ahead of Carroll. So, the SAC race, yeah, it's going to be a dogfight this year. But tonight, the Bruins taking on a talented DeKalb Barons basketball team. And we picked this one up in the second quarter. And that's Riley Peppel peppering the rim. She had 14 points, three of them coming right there. Sanaya Jackson, she's signed to play basketball at Valpo next year. The senior had 22 points and nine rebounds to lead the Bruins. You're going to see the Barons right here. Natalie Fordyce left alone, and she would can it. But just so much talent on this Northrop team. It's Nevaeh Jackson who is also going to play college basketball for the Valpo Crusaders. She drills the three. Bruins up by 20 in the second. They go on to win this one 69 26 over DeKalb. At Columbia City, a very good Eagles team off to a 5 and 1 start. Coach Shearer and company hosting a talented Bishop Lures squad. We picked this one up in the first quarter. It's Addie Shank. How many times have we called her name on the highlight zone over the last few years? She gets the bucket, and the Knights out to an early lead. But watch this. Kendra Sheets is going to push the basketball. And she just has her way with that Lures defense, delivers a dime to Molly Baker for two. Columbia City looking pretty good. You're going to see Reese Roldhamel here with a bucket for Lures, but the night would belong to Addison Baxter. Baxter with 33 points and nine rebounds for his 33 points, a career high for the Columbia City standout as CC wins 78 to 45.